Here's a recipe for trouble. Combine the pressures of racing 8,000 horsepower machines at half the speed of sound in front of packed grandstands and a national TV audience with the white hot competitive urges found in every professional racer and throw in the ongoing possibility that differences of opinion and the temptation to gain an advantage on your opponent may influence your team's strategy and you could easily wind up with, well, let's just say some volatile results. Either guy stage it. We haven't seen this in top fuel that often. Oh, li listen to this. You're going to be going, but... Herbert. Hey guys, we got a fight going on down here. We got Doug Herbert and the Clay Milliken crews going at it. Looks like we're at a NASCAR race. You no, know, you make up your mind you want to go in first or last, and obviously me and Doug both decided we wanted to go in last, and you know what? It's all great for the fans. Heck, he's burned us down every time I've ever raced him. Romine raced him at I Trade. He burns him down every time. So I just went up there and I figured, well, I'm not going to go in first because I don't want to get burned down. He needs to go to school. I'll take that boy to school. I'll let me tell you. I don't feel bad for whooping Baysmore last week, but I understand the psychology that goes on up there. I don't like it. I'm going to remember that. Take a look at the glare that Whit Baysmore gave Tony. He was upset that, well, basically, Tony said it on television and not to him. Some things were said by Tony that uh, weren't very kind about me or the team, and they were said on television, they were said on the PA, and they were said in the newspaper. And, um, you know, I don't know what we did to offend him. I wanted Tony to look me in the eye, and he wouldn't even look me in the eye. So, But there were a lot of things that were said. They weren't very kind, and, um, you know, that's the way it is. Uh, if he's waiting for an apology with, um, Pull up a chair, it's not going to happen. And this guy gets a satisfaction. We're talking about Lee Beard. Thinks it's cute. I told him, start with me. Well, you always do long burnouts, and, you may, and you're late. We don't do long burnouts. Is he out here racing it? Does he notice that we don't do long burnouts? I don't get mad very often, but I'm hot as a fox right now. What I've noticed is that anytime you're a threat to that organization, performance-wise, then John goes into this hysterical madness uh, type of person.